Harriet Bannon. Hey, Mom. It's Mark. Marky! Are you okay? Where are you? Look, I know I haven't called in a while. I'm sorry. We've been kind of isolated. But where are you? Not in France. Is Earl around? Uh, he's out hunting rabbits with Frank and Emmett. Listen, how are you, Mark? Really, your letters, well... I wish I could come home, Mom. I thought I'd do some good here, you know? Something Dad would have been proud of, but it's all just kind of screwed up. Listen, honey, I'm proud of you. And I'm sure your father would have been, too. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be. I've done wrong. Some things. If you did, you didn't have any choice. I don't know, Mom. Hey, uh, Earl always drinks when he hunts. He hasn't... A little. God damn it, Mom. You said you'd leave him if he did. Mark, it's not easy. Where would I go? Anywhere he's not. That son of a... He's my husband, Mark. Okay, Mom. Whatever. Look, I gotta go. I'm gonna kill some more commies and make Earl proud. Take care. Mark? We had barely gotten out of the area when we got orders to head north to a Soviet naval yard on the coast. The information we'd retrieved from the plane wreck indicated that several nuclear submarines were tied up there, a greater number than usual, as if they were preparing for something special. It was decided by the higher-ups that since we were already in the vicinity, we would go in and destroy as many subs as possible before the Soviets had a chance to react. I think the Colonel had something to do with that plan as well. It was just his kind of mission in so many ways. Take the enemy by surprise, wreak havoc, and then get the hell out of there before they understand what's happening. Again, we would be operating behind enemy lines, on our own, without backup. It was almost getting to be... routine. units. Every second counts. Secure those subs before they leave port. Parker, you go for the closest one. We want to search them for any important documentation and then destroy them. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Sir Cypher here. Let's Fight play World in Conflict. Soviet Assault. Yes, um, Don't screw up again, Captain. It's kind of gotten past Honestly, the point sir. of, uh, you know, it's just sort of silly at this point that we're heading over to attack a, a Russian port. Behind enemy Martin, lines with like several mechanized companies, like we're just well doing a uh, side quest in an RPG. On the far support channel. We're gonna we're gonna just blow these up beforehand. Um, obviously, um, you know it's very difficult to maintain supplies behind enemy lines, fuel and all that. But whatever, we've mentioned it. At this point, it's just fun. We've moved past any sort of uh, attempt at logistics. So, we have got to take over, take out some submarines. I uh, kind of don't really think they would keep those missile tubes open. Um, doesn't really seem to be a reason to, but whatever. A little bit more characterization for Ban in there. And, uh, and Earl. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go secure this submarine. Parker, tell your men to look out for snipers. Bannon, report. We're trying to break or, but resistance is heavier than just don't have any vehicles. <laughs> or don't have any infantry. So the snipers can't do anything. So yeah, we have to go take this area. It's 
a nice little burning fuel depot. This map's not quite as cool as the other one, but I still like all the little cargo stuff stacked up here with little gantry cranes, the refueling facilities. I, they said that they're refueling these submarines. I don't really know that much about it, but I kind of felt like I don't kind of seems like you couldn't just uh, refuel a nuclear submarine like at a dock. I don't think you need some sort of specialized facility for uh, for doing that. But you know, I don't really know. We're just gonna push ahead here. Um, it's not worth fiddling too much with it. They're gonna keep bringing reinforcements. We didn't bring anything that can kill infantry, but we're just going to have to deal with uh, the situation we find ourselves in, which is, um, is uh, killing all this stuff. Okay, so, so let's get here, get this over here. Okay, for whatever reason, my little repair truck is stuck. So what we need to do is get our repair truck somewhere where it can heal without dying. And then we'll probably get two tanks here to cover that. Yeah, I would think refueling a nuclear submarine would be a little bit more delicate of an operation than something you just do at a dockside. Also, nuclear submarines can run a very long time um, without refueling. But I guess... You know, they go on rotation, so... Just gonna be luck of the draw, probably that some of them are up for refueling, uh, during a war. One cool thing about the, uh, tanks in this game is they actually don't do too bad against infantry sometimes when they're close enough for the machine guns to start firing. That's healed. Now let's just do this. And this is a Russian crane. Hmm. This is a Russian cargo loading crane. Or did they get lazy? Damn you and your incompetence, Bannon. There's only one sub left. Parker, your objective is to secure that final sub before it leaves. Bypass Bannon and stop at nothing. Eagle 6 out. I just noticed there's a dry dock over there with one of the subs in it. My men report that large column of Soviet tanks headed toward the shipyard. That's cool. Probably come at us through the residential area. This is how I'd assume you'd refuel a sub. Something like this. But I guess maybe... We're doing them one at a time. Okay, so let's... Now we have plenty of time. We don't want, we don't need to rush anything. Okay. These are Russian crates. Russian cars. You know? Is that a Russian police cars? Or Soviet police cars? Maybe they really did have specific... These are too uh, low texture really now. So yeah, we have to destroy this helicopter base, but I mean... <laughs> there's no really... There's no need to do anything fancy. Just, uh, you know, just blow it up. Also want to blow up that. Okay, so tanks are basically all healed. Now let's roll for it. There we go. <laughs> Dealt with that. Okay. Now let's roll for it. Let's roll. But there are obviously some infantry and stuff. And we do want to fight some of it, but other stuff we can just kind of drive through. We don't want to get too caught up just fighting everything because they just keep calling in reinforcements. Interesting that we do still have, of course, our little NATO detachment. We're not um, American. Well, I mean, we are American, but you know. 
We're American. <laughs> Lieutenant Parker's American. But, uh... Okay, I think that's a little bit of a... A little bit of a graphical glitch there. For once I managed to call an artillery strike without... Uh, or an airstrike without, uh... Hitting my... Dropping it on top of my own units. Okay, so we'll scoot forward again. Again, if we move forward enough, then the enemy will start. We'll send troops over here and we'll have to fight them. Okay, we got more reinforcements. Problem is, we don't really have an easy way to call them in, so I'm just not going to. Okay. We'll fight these guys real quick. Um, probably drop some airstrikes here and here, just because they're almost certainly going to have some, some stuff there for us to deal with. They might as well just kill it now. Okay. Interesting that this is a structure, even though but this is the structure, it's still hollow enough that units can move through it without garrisoning it. it is an interesting, interesting choice. You can see here I can move my tanks in here, but it can also be garrisoned. So that seems like an added complication to the game, but it's kind of cool that they did it like that. Like I can put my tanks inside the structure. Um... Yeah, and, or they could garrison it. Okay. No, I still, I still have to call them drop zone back there. A drop zone back there would be just so annoying that it wouldn't even be worth doing. Okay, so we'll get one tank here. Maybe even two tanks here. And then we'll have these tanks go here and here. I could count on you, Parker. Well done. I'm sending the engineers in now. Hold in place until they've searched and destroyed the sub. Okay. <laughs> Wonder what shift that's supposed to be. I mean, that looks like, uh, like an old heavy cruiser. Something. Okay, so we're just going to call in um, support strikes here and maybe another tank because we can call in another tank here. We could get infantry, but they're just going to die. Um, Okay, so we'll get napalm. 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 There is artillery here, but I'm just gonna... Where's it coming from? There, there, and maybe there. Most of these objectives, like, it's... The only thing worth using against them is, is uh, tactical aid points, like... There's no reason to actually send your vehicles over there to fight them. When you can just... Do that. <laughs> uh oh. Let's, let's scoot this out of here. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on calling in strikes here. You end up actually having, even though the the uh, air the airstrike has like a long lead time. You actually have more time than you think because when the enemy um, spawns, they tend to take a while to kind of get situated, right? Like, so you have plenty of time to drop airstrikes on them. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on dropping airstrikes. That, that, and then we'll drop napalm too. Problem. We're 
Ow. Why are you shooting my poor repair vehicle? Never did anything to you. I had to guess repair the tanks that are doing things to you. Okay, so then... Well, we're at the problem now. My airstrikes have been a little too effective and everything's dead. So I can't, um... So I can't get any tactical aid points to call more airstrikes. There we go. Hit him with that. Hit him with the old razzle dazzle. Come on, Bannon. To hold at all cost, Bannon. Delta Six here. My men just spotted the second group of tanks approaching from the east. We believe they're aiming for the first submarine. All right, people, this is what we'll do. <laughs> Bannon, withdraw to the first submarine and set up defenses there. Acknowledge. Got it, sir. We're withdrawing. Parker, the engineers are setting the C4 in place now. It won't be much longer before that sub is destroyed. Well, that's a Everyone lot of tanks. Position and stay clear of the railroad tracks. We have NATO bombers inbound with oh, a little no, 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 no. Leave my Centurion alone. Ah. Oh. That blows. In the end, though, we should be fine. Got a... We found some interesting documents and sea charts in that sub. We're trying to make sense of them now. The engineers will blow the charges any second. Stay clear. Staying clear. This is Eagle 6 to all units. We've expanded our perimeter and advanced our positions. Keep the pressure up. Eagle 6 out. Parker, we have to plug that hole at the residence. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I want you to retake Bannon's former position and then hold. Not It'll quite sure how these, uh... Time. Eagle six out. Cargo planes are coming by to drop off fresh vehicles for us. I was just looking to see if we see the typical flood of civilians running away from the war zone. Right before the shooting starts. We don't actually have a time limit at the moment, so... This upcoming part is kind of annoying. We have to hold all three of these points, and as you can see, they're very far apart from each other. Um, and the enemy can call in what I think are tactical aid strikes, just like us, and they just call them in on the points. So it can make it a little difficult because they keep on like instant killing all of your vehicles. We are going to prevail, of course, especially because there's no time limit at the moment. Obviously makes things a little easier. Again, though, they do this thing with these having these pillboxes, and I just, I don't know. Do they still do that? I mean, would they still do that in the 90s in the end of the Soviet Union? It just seems like having non-camouflage concrete pillboxes is just kind of like a death, death trap. But I mean, I guess it, I guess it would slow people down. Okay, so we're gonna blow up all this stuff. Blow up all this stuff. And then we'll just waltz in and take the point. As long as you have troops on at least one point, they can't, um... They can't rebuild any of the defenses. Which, you know, save some time. All right, so let's roll. Maybe we'll keep... Maybe we'll keep, like, one or two tanks here. Okay, well, there's lots of people in these houses. Sounds like a job for laser-guided bombs. Just, uh... Doing some minor war crimes here. <laughs> Blowing up all these apartment buildings. Which I think also clears the line of sight. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it does. 
It looks like we can shoot through the rubble. So let's just repair everything because, you know, can't build a house on sand. We need to have some nicely repaired um, Leopard 2s if we're going to accomplish anything here. Okay, ow. We'll get another. Let's get some more. Let's just blow up all these houses with laser guided bombs. You know what? They should have evacuated. It's not my fault if they didn't. Bannon, Bannon started it. He did the first war crime. He broke our war crime virginity. I'm sure they evacuated. Okay. So. Let's take maybe one of these tanks. Oh wait, crap, there's another apartment building there. We'll blow up this apartment building too. So let's get maybe three of these tanks. Oof. Man, these heavy tanks are hard to kill. I guess mine are too, so it's not it's no real big surprise here. We'll get these guys, we'll get here. We'll repair these. Uh, they do call in reinforcements on this road. Uh, let's see here. I think we want to probably napalm here. And then maybe... I think there's more guys that come like here. But I don't actually see them at the moment. Okay, so we need that and then we need to get like one tank here. And then we just have to have a repair tank just doing overtime running back and forth between everywhere. Well done, Parker. Hold until relieved. Okay. So let's hold until relieved. Which involves mostly just a lot of napalm, I guess. Get more napalm. The enemy will shell our positions. Um, and we do have to actually survive long enough to get up a defense on every position. Uh-oh. I'm just trying- <laughs> I'm just trying to, uh, guess when they're gonna shell us. So, we need to get a defense on every single position. It doesn't tell you you have to do that, but that is what you have to do, in fact. So, let me maybe do a explosion there. Keep strengthening those positions. Eagle six out. And then let's do some more napalm, I guess. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, well, I don't have anything that can fight those. That's not cool. <laughs> what am I supposed to do against these? Um... I guess nothing? Shoot at them with, uh, shoot at them with their little machine guns? Yeah, um, we have a defense on every position, which means we have completed the objective, even though it never really tells us that's what we have to do. Here, I'm gonna repair this, just so... If they're shooting at that, they're not shooting at my tanks. Okay, Bandit can still not do anything right, apparently. But yeah, we'll just... Oh no. As you can see, uh... That helicopters are uh, very scary. We're actually gonna kind of run away here. We're gonna run back to here. <laughs> um... I guess, actually, maybe we'll just run all the way back to here. Alright, we're gonna run into here. Yeah. Really, the problem is these attack helicopters. The game has not given us any actual way to kill them. Unfortunately. Is 
Um. Okay. Where is my transport? If I just drop a repair vehicle here. Okay, let's just run for it. Everybody just run for it. We'll get in here. I'm assuming yeah, how you refuel a nuclear sub is you dry dock it and somehow do the fuel. I don't think you, you just pull it up next to the dock like you're at a gas station. But, uh... Whatever. Okay, so I think we have to hold these back too. And then I think they're supposed to hold the front too? I'm not really sure here. What we're supposed to be doing. So we're gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna keep on calling in more airstrikes. There and there, because I have a feeling that's where the enemy is gonna land. And we just want to keep these guys as topped up as possible. And get defenses up as quickly as we can. So yeah, we're gonna... we'll do that. We'll do that. I guess we'll... maybe we'll do a double airstrike here. Yeah, it's better... it's better if they have to get to the napalm to shoot us. They just kind of waste their time. Um... Maybe should I put another tank here to like snipe at these guys? Maybe I should put a tank there. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, Bannon looks like he's got that one covered. I'm gonna put a bomb here because I have a feeling they're coming this way. I just can't see them yet. Again, the Russian Air Force <laughs> not doing a very good job here. <laughs> Russian Air Force uh, sleeping on the job. Um, or the Red Air Force, they're not the Russians at this point. I mean, most of them are, but you know, it's the Soviets. Soviet Air Force is, uh, sleeping on the job here. Um. Instead of, uh, shooting down all these supply, supply, uh, supply planes, dropping off endless swarms of American troops and NATO troops, um, Hundreds of miles behind enemy lines. Not just any troops, like heavy tanks and stuff. Okay, so far, so good. There's lots of uh, preemptive cluster bombs here. Like, 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 <laughs> pull back to where, Ben? <laughs> We're on a pier. Like... Like, what's the end game here, Bannon? Where are we gonna retreat to? Do we have a submarine that's gonna show up? Like... <laughs> we need to pull back. I think we're about as pulled back as we can be, Bannon. Oh, what am I moving here? I'm clicking something. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I guess these those points are no longer valid, so we do have to pull back, apparently. Even though I feel like the mouth of the pier is more defensible than the rear of the pier. Um... But yeah, we're gonna just continue to do airstrikes. I mean, everything... ...seemed to be fine. I don't really know why we have to pull back. I guess because the the mission, uh... Ooh, I like that screen shake there, whatever it hit there. That was kind of cool. Um... Oh. Ow. Oh, that actually <laughs> that really hurt my tank. Um Okay. So whatever's shooting at me. Palm. So yeah, we're gonna just do airstrikes in between everything. I guess we'll just do more napalm.
And obviously my repair tank's kind of in trouble, but... Ooh, I should probably just repair the machine gun fortification. Just because the enemy tends to like to shoot those first. Uh, give it a little scoot, a little touch up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will we though, Sawyer? I mean, I don't know. I don't really get where we're supposed to go after this. We're sitting on a pier in Murmansk, in the heart of, like, the Soviet Navy. Um, with, like, uh, maybe two to three, like, maybe, like, a, two armored companies. How many rounds does a Leopard 2A4 have? I'm pretty sure we've probably shot them all by now. Also, another thing Napalm does is kill the infantry that run through it. found in the second submarine point to a planned attack against several east coast ports back home. I just spoke to Sakur, and we're being recalled to help defend them. We're going home, sir? We are. And you have a few things to answer for when we get there, Captain. Don't think I've forgotten. Sir. All right. Time to withdraw, everyone. Today we made a difference. Eagle Six out. What? <laughs> Withdrawal to where, Sawyer? How are we getting home? There's... I guess the Soviets gave up. I guess we destroyed their submarine and they thought, you know what? I guess we lost this one. We gotta give this one to the capitalists. <laughs> Let's go home, comrades. Um, so yeah, obviously this mission doesn't make any sense. It's kind of fun, though, obviously, sitting on the pier and, you know, fighting off, like, endless waves of enemies. But, uh, yeah, uh, in, any, in any sort of, um, yeah, it kind of just speaks for itself. Uh, well, anyway, um, the story is slowly creeping back up to where we left off on the West Coast. So our time in Europe is nearing an end, and soon we'll be back to, um... M1 Abrams and Humvees and uh, so thank you for watching and have a nice day.